Akron has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. 47 right, 47 right, right, 47. These tackles right around the 30. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he has it on the corner. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Booming kick. From the 15. And down he goes at the 22. Akron's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow it. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Fires out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18-yard line. That'll make it third and 13. Mike 51, Mike 51. He's going to air it long. It's going the other way. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. From their own 46-yard line, first down. It's two on the carry. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 49. That's a gain of three on the play. Third down. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 49. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Ready. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Fourth and five. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. That'll make it second and four. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. 24, check 24. False start, start offense. offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Second down and nine to go. 
Ball on the 21 yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 31 yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. He's on the run. That makes it second and six. Got hit and still completed it. Brought down at the 37. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He makes the catch and has a first down. Tackle made the 47-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He's at the 40, and he is drilled at the 35-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here he goes. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. First down. If you kill it, motion me out. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. And he's level at the 22-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Fourth and long here after the sack. Akron is looking to go up by three. Kicks up and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Zips really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Setting up the play action. Has all day to throw. And now he's going to run. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. That's going to do it for the first quarter, and we got a good one so far. 3-0, zip. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. 47 right, 47 right, right, 47. Ready, right. Fires out to his wideout. 
And he's taken down at about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. out to about the 38-yard line. Call it again, two yards. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. From the 38-yard line, second down. He's got the corner. Good open field tackle. Concentration to haul it in. Gain three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. And this play is number eight on the drive. down and they need to get it to the 15. Four down, four down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Ready, wide 80, wide 80. Gets it to his wide receiver and he's got another one. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. This is the 10th play of the drive. A two-yard run by the halfback. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. From the six yard line. Second down. 47 And he hits him hard at the four. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Shot by the defense and getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This isn't much more than an extra point. Western Michigan is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks away, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Quick pass. Tackle right around the 40. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. He fights forward to about the 43. That'll make it second to seven. Step 
Gets out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That makes it third. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Mike 51, Mike 51. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Let's go! Complete. He's hit and taken down. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. You ain't going nowhere. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Ready! Green 88! And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. From the 32-yard line, second down. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. The Broncos are going to call their second timeout. They'll spread the field with five wide. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. He's scrambling, tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Broncos! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 44-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 10-3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Zips know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When the running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When the running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. 
we need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. He's going to go for the home run. Almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Wants to go long and does. Uh, and it's the senior. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. The Broncos with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. The Broncos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Motion, motion, motion. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Fights forward to about the 49. Game of three yards. First down. Mike 51. Mike 51. Go check. Disco Raver. Disco He might have a chance. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Akron. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Akron is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Dumps it complete over the middle. Brought down around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Four down, four down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Green, Hot, green 88. Green 88. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. That'll bring up third and two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Taken down at the 49-yard line. And it's caught, and 
and he's brought down quickly. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second down. down. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made at the 34. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. And down he goes around the 25 yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Setting up the play action. And he's tackled right away. From the 12-yard line, first down. Touchdown for the tight end. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Western Michigan to kick. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And now he's got room to run, and he's taken down right around the 34. Gives it to the back. And they push him out at about the 43-yard line. First down. Mike 51, Mike 51. He's got an opening. Number 16 with the run. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Fires complete over the middle. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Call it a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And a quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. Mike 51. They go back to him on a quick throw. Inside the 10. Good job here by the receiver to lift the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. That makes it first and goal. What? 
A touchdown away from a tie. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the one. Makes the reception. Game seven on the play. That brings him second and goal. Check three, check three, check three. Too little, Cap Cake. Touchdown, Zips. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Accurate gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up third and 12. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He passes it. Finds his receiver who's all alone. And he is drilled at the 41. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other. And you could see it in the way he threw that pass. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. So with one quarter remaining, this game is all tied up, 17. Just about set to get back to the action here in quarter number four in a tie ball game. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. We got a second and 11. Ball on the 42 yard line. Three down, three down. Quick throw. He's tackled around the 30 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Up the middle for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Out of bounds, right around the two-yard line. That brings up second Tenth play of the drive. 
They line up in the jumbo set. Fires to the end zone, picked off. What a crucial interception, and that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this tie. But wow, do we have a great game or what? From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. He's hit and taken down. Number 16 on the tackle at the 31-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. And he's hit immediately. Gain of 13 yards. First down. Fires that quickly incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Going deep, lays it out there. Can't connect. Number 35, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Less than three minutes in the game. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Just throws this one away. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. That brings us fourth and three. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 36. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. Here he goes. He's at the 30. Close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. From the 21 yard line, first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Slings it. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Defense would like to come up with another big play like they did in the last trip for this offense in the red zone with the interception. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. Call a loss of one yard on the play. 
That brings up second and goal. From the eight yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Broncos. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game, offense. A little over a minute in the game. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Akron's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Right here, right here. 
makes it to the 34. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. The Zips will use their first time out of the half. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. And they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. And down he goes at about the 49. Third down. Under a minute left. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Takes a knee. The Zips are going to have to call their third and final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The ball game's over. The Broncos come out on top. 24-17. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.